So today's video is going to be a dip and then a blowout. Welcome back everybody. So today I'm working on 11 by 14 canvas, actually two 11 by 14 canvases. Here's the other one. Um, I'm going to do a dip with a whole bunch of colors. And um, then after that, I'm going to use the blow dryer and blow it out. I watched um, Rush Art Studios, I believe is her name. She's on Instagram. I haven't seen um, her on YouTube, but uh, she's on Instagram. And my goodness, I saw her do that um, technique. I was like, got to try that. So that's what I'm going to attempt today. So randomly, I'm just going to start laying some colors down. And I've got the back of my uh, canvas prepped with um, my tape and my push pins. Keeps it off the tray. Okay, so I got some Grumbacher Theo Thio Violet. Like I said, just kind of going to be some random placement. Alan's Red Shimmer, and this is Parage Posse Paint. Grumbacher Prussian Blue. Then we have Brian's Annoying Green. And here we have um, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer. And this is Morning Pansy Shimmer. Carolina Blue Shimmer. And I have some Bumblebee Yellow. And then Persian Autumn Yellow. Oops, grab the wrong bottle. Okay, next I have gold. And this was um, Liquitech Basics Gold. Okay. And the next is DecoArt Copper. I have a hard time finding this color and I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorites. It's always sold out when I try to buy it. So next I'm going to add some white and um, none of these colors that I put on here have any silicone on them in them. Um, my one of my whites, I'm going to add two different whites. One has silicone and the other does not. Kind of more for experimental purposes than anything to see um, what kind of look we get with the one that has um, silicone in it. Mm, you know what? 
it seems like it needs a darker green. So I have a military green shimmer. Add just a little bit of this. Alright, so now to add my white. So this is the non-silicone. Add a little bit around the edges. Whoops. Okay, and then like I said, this one does have silicone in it. All right, here we go. Just press down real good and moving probably maybe you shouldn't have put push pins on the bottom one maybe you should have left it flat to the tray I would have gotten a um, little better uh, firmer surface to work with I didn't even hardly get the inside. Hmm. Okay, well we're gonna do it again. Maybe I'll push from under. There we go. Okay. That's a little better. Pretty neat. Um, I love this. This in here. 
I think that is amazing. I'll try to get my sides a little bit. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna hold this up so I can see it a little closer. It's crazy, look at all those little cells. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the other one. And okay, um, so here is the second one, the Dippy. <laughs> and there's already all kinds of little cells. So, I don't know if I wanna add all the colors again. Let's see how much, there's not very much paint on there at all. Um, I think I might do that. Now I do put pouring medium and in my paint mixture. So if I have a little extra um, paint on my canvas left over. Most of the time it doesn't crack. Now I can't say that that happens all the time because sometimes I do get some texture if it's really thick, but for the most part, it doesn't. So I'm not worried about it. But when I'm blow drying it too, I'm not going to, it over the edges as well so there's not as much as it looks on there all right so we're gonna get some white going this white does not have silicone this just adds a little bit of contrast um, whereas the other is making bubbles all those little cells okay let's get some around the edges I'll add a little bit. Like I said, there's already quite a bit going on as far as the cells wise, but I'd still want to add a little, a little more, like in certain areas where I'm gonna blow dry it. And okay, all right, here we go. Thank you. 
shut that off for a second. Got an empty spot here. And I want to add some copper down here. And maybe that's so gold. It might knock it right off the edge. I don't know. But for some reason, that area does not want to move. Let's try it again. go now get the sides and then I'll give you a close-up this is so cool looking there is a lot going on Once this dries and I um, get some varnish on it, I'll show you the end result as I always do. And we'll see if anything cracked or the design changed. I got pretty level surfaces, so it shouldn't move too much. Um, more cells may appear though. That's been known to happen. Right, it's pretty good. Okay, give you a close up. Okay, think this is how I would hang it. Well, I can tell you that I am super happy with the way both of them came out. Love them. There are, there's all kinds of things going on in these paintings. And, you know, they would be kind of neat, too, for a background. And you could have some, some words that you cut out with a cricket, some, a saying, you know. Definitely would be nice on there, too. All right, so I'll let these dry, and then I will show you the end result. Thanks for watching and experimenting with me. So here is the painting dried and with two coats of varnish. Um, came out pretty good. There was just a little bit of cracking on one of them. Run you through the close up here and then I will find the spot. In this area right here, this is all where I added silicone and this area is where I didn't add silicone and I kind of like that look there so I'm gonna try this again um, with just regular white paint there for most of it and see how that turns out <laughs> I'm videoing I think so. Okay, let me grab the other one. So before I go to the other one, um, this one is the one that had the little bit of crazing, and it is so minor, you're probably even going to be able to see it. Let's see if I can get you in focus. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, maybe from the side. Yeah, I don't think you can. But it's just one little spot, so it is good to go. All right, here's the second one. Okay, well, it is really bright out and I can't hardly see anything. So if I'm not centered yet, apologize for that. Okay, start at the bottom right hand corner. Okay, well, I don't think it came out too bad for the first time trying this method, and uh, I'm going to do it again. Just do some more experimenting. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.